morning traders, Richard here and a quick Ichimoku cloud chart market review of the S&P 500 index. After rebounding from a critical cloud chart support zone here back in March, broke through the cloud chart resistance, entered a new bull market uh, based on Ichimoku cloud on the daily and we had a very strong rally from that uh, cloud cross breakout there. Index is now a little bit extended from key support zones, the front end of the cloud here, the turning line and the standard line of the cloud both a little bit extended from those lines but these l lines act as key support zone you can see how the uh, turning line of the cloud every kind of consolidation back down to that zone we can get a market rebound from there so 4467 is the next downside support target and then by that time this one should catch up with a you know 4450 and 4500 now the upside resistance targets the index is struggling with this five uh, 4521 and 4510 resistance zone now that comes from old cloud chart resistance zone if this if index can break past this resistance zone it's going to hit the next target 4609 4657 and 4689 so these are the upside resistance targets and if we go back to see where these zones come from you can see here back in march in February of 2020, these are those cluster of resistance zones there. Now, the so market's quite close to key resistance levels here, so do expect some form of a consolidation in the next couple of weeks. Uh, depending on the earnings season, how the earnings season is going to pan out, is that going to drive the index into this resistance cloud there, or are we going to get a consolidation back down to the front end cloud support levels as well as the turning line and the standard line? So that's a critical thing to keep an eye on. <clears throat> Just a big picture of you of the weekly Chimoku <clears throat> you can see I'm struggling to get past that uh, significant resistance zone of 4510 and 4521 so that's a critical resistance zone to break past any breakout past that would bring us back down to back up to these other cluster of resist resistance zones in the S&P index there but extended from the top end of the cloud yeah you can see that's a key support zone but the good news is we're back above the top end of the cloud for a couple of weeks now. The, the market's bullish, but it's closer to resistance. So do expect some form of a consolidation that can come back and retest uh, critical cloud chart support levels. Uh, key level to test could be that one, 4315, and the top end of the cloud there. So these are the downside support targets for the next couple of months. 4315, 4226. And this front end cloud support zone there at 4,200 in case we get seasonal weakness uh, going into the third quarter. That's the downside risk targets. But so far, the upside resistance targets, if we get a breakout past this resistance zone, would be these 4,609 and 4,657. But do expect some form of a shorter consolidation. Four hour chart. A little bit extended from the top in the cloud, a snap back down to 4467 and then a rebound from that zone would be would be preferred. Uh, but the strong rally since breaking past the cloud yeah, back in March and confirming the new bull market on the four hour chart. But a little bit extended with the downside risk back down to these old resistance zones which should now act as support as well as the top end of the cloud yeah, is also a significant support zone uh, 4431 and 4447. These are key levels to watch out for on the four hour Ichimoku. Turning to the hourly, a little bit extended there. You can see how that 4521, 4510 resistance zone is holding for now. Uh, downside risk to the front end of the cloud, 4500 roughly, 4492. 4492 and then by that time and get the standard line catching up maybe closing that gap with the key support zone there but so far so good price action is bullish on the hourly as long as price action stays above this cloud level there we remain bullish on the daily four hour chart also bullish with downside risk to key support zones if resistance hold at this level and then back to the daily you can see they're a little bit extended with consolidation risk back down to key cloud chart support levels there and there as well as top end of the front end of the cloud. But keeping an eye to see if the earnings season is going to help the S&P break past this resistance zone. And if that's the case, then the upside resistance targets would be 4609 and 4657 on the daily Chimoko. But so far, so good. Strong uh, bull rally, the daily, weekly, and four hour and hourly one, all bullish for now with downside consolidation risk to key support zones. Just a quick point to note in terms of the index performance uh, 
the standard index performance and the equal weighted index performance. You can see here since March, uh, the heavyweight uh, large capitalization stocks have really been driving the S&P's performance. Uh, while the equal weighted index is still somewhat by the uh, testing the highs that it made in January. So we can see a big disparity in terms of performance between the large cap uh, price weighted uh, index and the equal weighted index. So there's a little bit of risk in this rally that it's it's very narrow, concentrated in a few large cap names. Uh, incidentally, if we add the NASDAQ uh, data and the uh, NASDAQ uh, equal weighted index over the last six months, you can see how far, let me just make that a little thicker line. Give a second to update. Okay. Yeah, we can see the NASDAQ 100 index, for example, very, uh, very strong performance in the large cap uh, price weighted stocks, the tech there, the equal weighted NASDAQ here, yeah. also performing better than the S&P. Uh, equal weight and uh, standard S&P, but however, you can see the disparity between the two. Uh, the rally recently is mostly concentrated in the very large cap players in both indices, the NASDAQ, as well as the uh, S&P 500. You can see the equal weighted indices here yeah, still lagging quite uh, substantially in terms of performance. So that's just a key risk factor to bear in mind when you're looking at the markets right now is this uh, super concentrated rally in the large cap. Uh, large tech, uh, large cap players. Turning to the S&P 500 index seasonality chart, here I've got the 20 year average annual seasonality chart. Here you can see the market's very strongly following the seasonal pattern so far. You can see there uh, since the March low, albeit quite a volatile steep ascent. And now the risk is that we're going to look at a seasonal weakness period from mid-August down to uh, end of September. So there's downside risk in the market. Maybe if it hits these resistance zones to the upside there and then just gradually correct uh, down there down back down to 4170 or 4180. That's a downside risk targets on the seasonal chart. But you can see there is some downside risk from a seasonal perspective. Maybe the earnings season will make it pop a little bit to take out those resistance levels there and then consolidate back down to key support levels uh, following very uh, closely the seasonal pattern in the market. But overall still bullish on the daily Ichimoku cloud, weekly Ichimoku and just keep an eye on those resistance zones and the price action around that. Until next time, happy cloud chart trading. Bye for now.